Hello, this is uh, Ted Argyle. Today we're going to look at what we do with um, how we reuse and recycle our plastic. So any plastic that comes through our household and any plastic that comes through my workplace uh, we recycle this way. So what we do is we take our juice containers, it could be a soft drink container but we don't drink soft drink. Um, so we use, when we drink juice we actually drink diluted juice, we find that it's a bit too sugary uh, by itself. But that being said we grab our juice container any sort of plastic product, this is just some glad wrap which has come around some watermelon. We place that in the container. Of course sometimes you'll need to wash the plastic so we do that if, if, the, uh, if the plastic is soiled, like particularly glad wrap, if it's been around the outside of meat or anything like that we'll wash it first and once it's dry we'll place it in the container. We take our trusty wooden spoon, it could be a stick of any nature or a piece of dough. We squash that in there as tight as we can. So we want to try and take out all the air spaces if we can. So I'm not going to go through the whole process of filling it out completely, but it um, takes us about a week to fill one of these containers, sometimes two weeks. And that's taking every bit of plastic that comes through our house or through a workplace into here. Sometimes we'll even put hard plastic through here if we're able to cut that up. Uh, and we end up with this brick that looks like this, which is quite hard. Um, we try not to have any air pockets in there at all. What have we got in here? We've got the little plastic tyres that go around the top of um, bread when we buy that from bakery. We have a chocolate bar in here. Yes, I do eat chocolate. Um, little bits of tin foil, some plastic bags, uh, what have we got in here? Something was around, around the outside of tomatoes, a fruit or something. So there's like, as we all know, plastic goes through our hands all day, every day. Uh, so at every opportunity we try to run all of our waste plastic, plastic that we can't reuse for anything else, through this system. And we're using this to insulate our chook house. Um, I was watching a documentary recently and I'll try to post it in the description if I can, if I can find it. And there was this um, school in the UK who was building a, it was like a tech school uh, with carpenters and electricians and that kind of thing. And they were um, uh, experimenting with building a very small house out of um, as many reclaimed and recycled materials as possible. And what they were using for insulation is old video cassettes. And that got me thinking uh, that maybe we could use this to insulate our chook house. So, um, of course, once it's all packed in there and there's very little air, it's more or less the same as a hard plastic and we're just using that to insulate our chook house. So our chook house is actually built out of um, recycled material. So there's some old decking there and some old tin which we got off some friends. Um, and you end up with, we've like got a stud wall construction obviously. And there's a cavity which is about the same thickness as that. So what we've done is we've just put some pallet wood on the inside here. Uh, and these are just filling up with plastic. So this has about, what have we got? about 15 containers in the wall so far. That's taken us about three or four months to achieve. So it'll probably take a good year or two to insulate the walls and the roof of the chook house, which would be better for the chickens. And it gives us an area to um, uh, get rid of this or makes a use of a wasted product, which is useless plastic, which usually ends up in landfill. And a lot of it ends up in our waterways, which is really bad for the marine environment. Um, this is kind of a precursor too to some more videos which I'll be having in a little while where I'm talking about a place we're building out in Kaji which is built out of uh, recycled material. So obviously I think this is fairly impractical. It's an impractical from a residential sense. You're not going to go out and, and uh, use 5,000 <laughs> soft drink containers filled with plastic to insulate your house. But for something like a chook house or something like that or a garden shed that needs to be insulated for whatever reason, uh, I think this is a uh, a, a good way to reuse a waste product. Anyway, I'd be interested to see what you think about this idea and uh, if you've got any feedback, please let me know. Thank you.